Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in Libya Palace and Secretary General Dr. Yasser al Nasser gave the following statements. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness, all of the amendments that have been made to the government's action plan have been approved. This came as a result of the cooperation between the government's delegation and the parliamentary committee during their joint meetings during which Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa gave a presentation. His Royal Highness praised the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and affirmed that this cooperation reflects their sense of responsibility and patriotic dedication. He also stressed on the necessity to maintain such cooperation efforts as they serve the interests of the citizens. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in cooperation with the BCCI to place an action plan to back small business owners through a well-planned and time-sensitive timetable with clear objectives in order to meet their needs and aspirations. His Royal Royal Highness then directed to intensify the inspection and monitoring campaigns in marketplaces to ensure that the prices of the basic consumer commodities are exempted from the VAT and to penalize any violations that may affect the consumer. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Labor to fasten the process of employment and integration of unemployed university graduates in order to offer them an opportunity to contribute to the development of the country and to keep unemployment rates with their natural limits. He called for the preservation of the social fabric in new towns and various residential projects by ensuring the priority would be given to those who lived in geographically close areas. He also outlined the achievements of the ministry such as building nearly 130,000 residential units since the establishment of the ministry. The cabinet adopted a recommendation of the Civil Service Bureau chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to establish a center for renewable energy. The center will be in charge of extending technical support to the relevant parties on the efficient use of renewable energy. The cabinet approved the recommendation of the Civil Service Bureau not to expand the administrative apparatus at the level of its supporting units. The cabinet therefore agreed to recognize reorganize the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs by reducing the number of assistants, deputies and directorates. The Cabinet looked into applying the Supreme Council for Women's De Development Plan in nurseries with the objective of improving the conditions of their workers. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister approved the recommendation and referred it to the relevant authorities. The Cabinet referred the National Committee on Commercial Weapons Annual Reports regarding the production, storage and destruction of chemical weapons to the Ministerial Committee for Legislative and Legal Affairs. The Cabinet approved a certification of Federal Express International which will allow to resume its aerial transportation activities and its postal services in accordance with Commercial Law 21 of 2001. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and was received by Chairman of the Chamber Samir Nas and members. His Royal Highness affirmed keenness to follow up on commercial, real estate and industrial activities and ensure the provision of facilitation to businessmen. He affirmed that legislation and regulations are continuously evaluated in order to benefit citizens and businessmen. He also affirmed that the government attracted investors and encouraged investment in order to benefit the country and its people. His Royal Highness stressed that the economic openness enhances the competitiveness and the sustainability of the kingdom and added that all regulations are for the interest of the people of Bahrain. He stressed the importance of enhancing competition and improving the legal environment to enhance the confidence in the business sector in the kingdom. He affirmed the government keen to support the private sector and provide it with what is necessary to achieve more development and enhance competition. His Royal Highness praised the contributions of businessmen in the Kingdom's economy and extended his appreciation to them. He also praised the role of the BCCI in supporting the national economy in the framework of joint partnership that contributed to an achieving economic development. His Royal Highness stressed that the challenges faced currently requires efforts and unity to maintain the gains of the country and its citizens. His Royal Highness then was briefed by the Chamber members on some issues regarding the private sector and the markets and His Royal Highness affirmed that the aim of his visit is to meet the requirements of the commercial and economic sectors. He said that Bahraini businessmen are the basis of the national economy and the government is keen to provide its support in order to push the wheel of development forward. The BCCI then expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his visit and follow-up and expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for enhancing the partnership with the private sector. Samir Nas then extended his appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support and efforts to enhance the national economy, which reflects His Royal Highness's keenness to attract local and foreign investments.
The Ministry of Education announced the extension period of new students' registration for 2019 and 2020 due to large application in the registration process and that the last day of registration will be on the 18th of February. Minister Dr. Majid al naimi affirmed that the ministry provided a number of work teams to facilitate the registration process, which witnessed the registration of more than 700 new students. He stressed that providing a seat for students marks their, their right to receive education according to Education Law 6 of 2005. The National Bureau for Revenue held a workshop aimed at increasing VAT awareness of private schools. A total of 74 representatives from 60 licensed private schools attended the workshop, which highlighted the fundamentals of VAT. The workshop also outlined the correct invoicing and filing practices to ensure the correct application of the VAT. The NBR highlighted the VAT treatment of goods and services that are directly related to the supply of education, emphasizing that certain goods and services are not subject to standard 5% VAT rate to further advance access to essential services. The NBR concluded by affirming its commitment to continue organizing workshops that increase public and private stakeholders' awareness regarding treatment of VAT across all sectors in addition to advancing public and private cooperation. In a speech address to the Committee on Arab Human Rights, Speaker of Arab Parliament, Mishal bin Fahm al-Silmi, commended the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa for its efforts in the field of human rights on the local and regional levels. The Speaker added that the number of votes that the Kingdom received at the UN's Human Rights Council reflects its efforts in this field and its commitment to international treaties. He also expressed appreciation of the election of the first Bahraini woman to be position of the Speaker of Representatives Council, which reflects the Council's confidence and the abilities of Bahraini women. On the reports that some international and regional human rights organizations produce on Bahrain, the speaker said that they represent politicized attempts at undermining the sovereignty of the kingdom.